It's 2-0 to her now on the fist. Out to shallow left. It's in for a hit. Bianco will score. And Tatarski's got a ribby knock. And Walk has not struck a bat around. It's the one, two. It's hit pretty well towards right center field. A charge from Whitaker. And this one will fly over the right center field fence for a home run for the St. John's catcher. There's a little insurance for the Red Storm, who make it a 7-4 lead here in the sixth. 2-2. Two -two. This one is hit back up the middle. Gerard charging in in front of the second base bag, and the throw over to first is in time for the final out of the game. From Red Storm Field in Queens, New York, it's game two of a non-conference doubleheader as the St. John's Red Storm plays host to the Sacred Heart University Pioneers in Division I NCAA softball. In the dirt, here goes Bianco, and the throw hit her in the foot. She'll get up as it's in left field. She will score without a throw, and it's 1-0 Red Storm here in the bottom of the first. Thompson at first, they all singled. Popped up in the left field, it's carrying. Lepinto under it, makes the catch. Tagging from third, coming home Whitaker as the throw goes into third base. Runners hold it first and second. Whitaker has scored to make it 2-0 Red Storm. So the conversations have concluded. Now the 1-0 pitch. They're going to throw to shortstop and apply the oh, tag and grab the out. Oh, how about that? It was a timeout to set up the play. Carroll on her secondary lead. Got to call it four steps off the base. London Gerard charged in. Let's see this again. One, two, three. Stop throw comes. Little confusion and caught in no man's land and the out. How about that? I've not seen that in the college level, I don't think ever. So it's Seaton with a big opportunity with the bases loaded. This one is hit well towards left center field. Petrovic diving. Oh, and the ball's jarred loose. She had it for a moment. One run has scored. A second run has scored and getting up to second with an RBI double is Sabrina Seaton. Bases are loaded with Red Storm runners. Pitch on the way, way outside, gets away. Now the runner coming from third, and Malo will score. Now the one-two pitch coming. It's sharply the other way towards the right field side, and that gets down towards the corner. Extra bases. Rounding third is Tatarski. Headed towards third is Leshak, and she'll get there. It's an RBI triple for Alana Leshak. The 0 2 this one is Squared up towards left field, coming on, and it will fall in front of the left fielder Petrovich. And scoring on the play is Katie Whitaker, or excuse me, is Alana Leshek. Katie Whitaker has the RBI single, and it's eight to nothing, St. John's. Katie Whitaker picks up an RBI. She's on base for the third time in this game. She's already scored twice. Stouffer puts a charge into this one towards right center, and this one goes bye bye over the right center field fence. First pitch swinging, Cassidy Stouffer. Have yourself a day. Capped here with a two-run home run. It's 10-0 St. John's in the fourth. A blast the other way to right center field, and Stouffer knew on contact that that ball was not coming back. 2-2. Two -two. Popped up. This should do it. Tatarski in and makes the catch for the final out of the game as the St. John's Red Storm defeat the Sacred Heart Pioneers by a final score of 11 to nothing in four and a half innings in game two of this doubleheader.